Good evening and welcome to the Grade 8 Closing Ceremony for the 2020-2021 graduates of St. Patrick Catholic School. I am Mr. Neubauer and as Vice, Pr Vice Principal of St. Patrick Catholic School, it is my honor and true pleasure to be your Master of Ceremonies this evening. At this time, I would also like to welcome parents, family, friends, St. Patrick staff, and members of our Catholic School Council. We will begin this evening with a short liturgy. We would begin by respectfully acknowledging that we here in the Durham region are on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island. We acknowledge the generations of wise men and women, the story keepers and tellers who have gone before us. If you could please join me in the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. God, our Father, you are the giver of all good gifts. You surround us in this world with the beauty of creation and invite us to walk in your presence each day. As we come to the end of our time here at St. Patrick Catholic School, let us be thankful for all we have achieved through you. Grant that this time of prayer and reflection might strengthen our desire to shine brightly in Jesus' name and to use the gifts you have given us to serve others in love. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstead and gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Prayers of the Faithful. Let us pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Wynne, Father Joe, Father David, and all priests in their daily efforts that they may serve the people of God with humility and faithfulness, and continue to lead the church in witnessing the truthful joy of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, we pray for our parents, guardians, administrators, teachers, educational assistants, support staff, volunteers, and community members of St. Patrick Catholic School. We ask that you bless them for the dedication and sacrifices they have made for us. May they continue to guide and nurture us as we grow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of hope, we pray that we, the graduating class of 2021, may carry the love of Christ with us always. May we have the courage to share our gifts with those in need especially young people who cannot go to school because of poverty or war. May we be free to shape a future of peace and justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Healing God, we pray for all those who are sick in our community, especially for those with COVID-19. Help them to feel your healing presence and find strength in the cross of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of compassion, we pray for those in our families, in our school and parish communities who have died and are now in God's presence forever, especially for those whom we would have liked to have shared this special occasion. We know our lives are better for having known them, and we are grateful for that. We pray that they may know how much they are loved and missed. May they live forever in your radiant glory and rise to eternal life in Christ. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the gifts of friendship and community we have found here at St. Patrick Catholic School, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, as we reach this crossroads, may we be guided to choose the right road and to make the best of the gifts we have been given. Guide us to remain true to ourselves as we step tentatively into the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join me in an Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Patrick, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Rancourt, and I am the principal here at St. Patrick Catholic School. I welcome all of you, students, families, friends, parish staff, and teaching staff, to this virtual ceremony for our wonderful grade 8 students. While it is disappointing that we cannot all be together, I truly hope you will still be able to find this a special and meaningful ceremony to mark this important milestone in your lives. I would like to begin by thanking our Catholic School Council for the dedication, determination, and hard work to support this evening, as well as a very special thank you to our grade eight team, Madame Boyd, Mr. Sherry, Madame Finley, Mrs. Kidd, Monsieur Como, and our entire custodial team. Well, here you are. Each one of you has arrived at this moment. I am so thankful to have shared it with you. I'm grateful that your parents chose Catholic education for you. You have been beautifully and wonderfully created, and you have brought your God-given talents and gifts to the St. Patrick Catholic School community. On behalf of all the staff, we are so proud of you. We have to begin by thanking people for being instrumental in your life. First and foremost, your parents, your families, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. It truly takes a village. Each and every one in your family who helped guide you and support you through your years here at St. Patrick. Families, thank you for your support on this journey. As an educator, knowing the support you provide truly shows the trust you put in us to take care of your most precious children. Thank you for putting your trust in us and for choosing Catholic education as the place for your child to develop in a faith-centered environment focused on our Catholic graduate expectations. Staff, thank you for your commitment to our students. You have supported these students through their time here at St. Patrick. You have educated, nurtured, coached, and cheered on these grade eights into the wonderful young adults that they are today. I know they are thankful for this and realize how fortunate they have been to have all of you be a part of their lives here at St. Patrick. Grade eights, take your gifts, take your faith, Take what Father Joe, Father David, Miss Henry, Miss Zelda, and Mr. Noah have taught us is the most important friendship of all, our relationship with God. Take what you have learned here at St. Patrick. Go forward on the path that is before you, because you can do it, and because you have been called by name to help make your corner of this beautiful world an even more awesome place. May God bless and protect and guide each and every one of you. I wish each of you nothing but success as you enter this next stage on your journey in Catholic education. 
Good afternoon, graduates, families, friends, staff, and guests. It is an honor to bring greetings today as we celebrate the success of the Grade 8 graduating class of 2021. My name is Jim Wilson and I am the Superintendent of Education for the Ajax Family of Schools. On behalf of the Durham Catholic District School Board, I wish to extend sincere congratulations and best wishes on today's milestone. To parents, guardians, and family members who have joined us for the celebrations. Your sons and daughters are being recognized today for their academic achievement to this pivotal moment in their educational journey. We thank you for choosing Catholic education for your child, where academic achievement is accompanied by social, emotional, and spiritual development. We know that this school year and today's Graduation celebration is not what you might have imagined, but as vaccination numbers increase and the number of COVID cases decrease, we are hopeful that your grade nine year will be more of a normal high school experience. I personally wish every student graduating from elementary school today all the best as you continue to soar in your secondary school and that you take the sense of community, commitment to serve, and everything that you have learned in elementary school with you throughout your high school years and beyond. May God bless you as you continue on your journey and may you always walk with the love of Jesus Christ in your hearts. With that in mind, I leave you with these simple but impactful words by our Holy Father, Pope Francis. 
Do not bury your talents, the gifts that God has given you. Do not be afraid to dream great things. Thank you. Greetings, dear graduates of St. Patrick's School. You have now completed your primary education and now you're headed off to your secondary education. This past year was a year where much of your learning was done virtually. This is a year I know that you will live to tell your children, your grandchildren, of what it was to live through a pandemic. And what a time it was indeed. As the summer is upon us, I ask of you to continue to pray. Pray at home before you get in, getting into bed and after getting out of bed, before meals, after meals, and so forth. But more importantly, the churches are now open. And so do try and come to Mass with your families. God has given you the, your very presence in this world to bless other people. And Father David and I thank God for the wonderful gift that is you. But I ask of you to give of yourselves to others and to continue to pray again and again and again. God bless you all. Amen. portion of the evening where we celebrate our award winners. Up first is our Christian Spirit Award. The Christian Spirit Award is presented to one student from the grade 8 classes. It is presented to the student who exemplify the teaching of Jesus in their interaction towards their peers and teachers, as well as the St. Patrick's School community. 
They demonstrate the spirit of St. Patrick through their genuine caring of others. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to the following student. Jacob Fernandez. The, the award for, uh, for personal growth and achievement is presented to one student from the grade eight classes. This award is given to the student who have shown personal, academic, or social growth over the course of this school year and who may have overcome difficult obstacles. It is truly an honor to present this award to the following student, Andrew Cavazon. This award is in memory of Mario Romano. Mario was a custodian at St. Pat's for six years. He passed away on March the 10th, 2012. The Mario Romano Service Award is presented to one grade eight student who has demonstrated an ongoing willingness to help in our school community. They have provided service with patience, understanding, and kindness without prompting or expecting a reward. It is great honor to present this award in memory of our colleague and our friend, to Nathan Lossie. Bonsoir, parents, diplômes et collègues. Le prix d'excellence de français est pour l'étudiant qui accomplit tous ses devoirs durant l'année en participant toujours en classe dans les catégories orales, auditoires, écriture et lecture avec la positivité et la confiance. This award is presented annually to one student from each grade eight class who consistently participated in all aspects of the French program and has demonstrated a continued development in all four categories. This student displays an appreciation for the place of French and Canadian culture and displays genuine interest, enthusiasm and success in learning French as a second language. They demonstrate a sense of pride for our French Canadian heritage and a maturity to accept all new challenges as learning opportunities. I am pleased and proud to present this year's French award to Miriam Ishak and Faith Attica. The Arts Award is being presented to one student from each grade eight class that used the principles of design in an exceptional manner. Not only do these students show a promising future in visual arts, but their use of the creative process has helped them to be very successful in the other art subjects as well, such as dance, drama, and music. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to Sophie Santiago and Margot Cuevas. The Award for Excellence in Language Arts is presented to one student from each grade eight class who have consistently achieved exemplary marks in language and demonstrate excellent skills in reading, writing, media arts, oral, and visual communication. This year, it is my sincere pleasure to present this award to Ray Bansell and Andrew Cabazon. The the Award for Excellence in Mathematics is presented to one student from each grade eight class who shows a very good knowledge and understanding of mathematics and excels at problem solving, application, and communication in math. It is my honor to present this award to Jacob Fernandez and Tafara Manuro. The Academic Achievement Award is presented to one student from the grade eight classes who have consistently achieved the highest average as well as demonstrating consistent participation, enthusiasm, and love of learning. This year's award goes to Margot Cuevas. The EJ Finan Award for Outstanding Effort was established and funded by the Durham Catholic District School Board principals and endorsed by the Board of Trustees. As a fitting tribute to a former Director of Education, Mr. E.J. Finan. This award recognizes the grade eight students who have shown outstanding effort demonstrating the love of God, respect for oneself and others, intellectual development, physical and emotional well-being, 
social development, creativity, good decision-making skills, constructive and responsible participation, flexibility and adaptability, and integrity. This year, St. Patrick Catholic School is thrilled to award this honor to a very worthy student, Sophie Santiago. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian. This individual is selected by the grade eight teachers to represent the voice of our grade eight students. I am certain none of you will be surprised by their selection this year. Let me now introduce to you this year's valedictorian, Faith Attica. Good evening guests, teachers, parents, friends, and fellow graduates. I'm very honored to deliver the valid Victorian speech for the class of 2021. First, I would like to start by thanking all the teachers and staff at St. Patrick's School. We believe with a high degree of confidence that they have instilled in us all the knowledge that we may need for whatever challenges may come our way. Thank you, fellow graduates, for preparing for this day by putting your shoulders to the wheel and studying very hard to meet all the requirements for graduation. We were all hoping to be celebrating this day at the school's gym, but the COVID pandemic has prevented that from happening. However, that will not stop us from gathering to make tribute to our achievements, triumphs, and victories as individuals and as a school. Furthermore, we thank our families who have been there for us since day one, whether it was packing our school lunches, seeing us to the bus stop, or helping us with our homework, which sometimes they did not fully understand. I recall when I was younger, my parents who did not speak nor understand French would try to help me with my French homework. I have been given so many opportunities because of my parents. One of my dad's favorite scripture readings comes from Matthew chapter 516, which says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. This verse inspires me whenever I get a little frustrated or things get difficult to continue to fight through as some might describe this as being a warrior. This is the day that our elementary learning has ended. We have come together, not just as people, but as Catholics, to celebrate as a community, where we can fully seize God's hands as work as he journeys along us on this new path. Throughout the years, we have created this simple understanding of what the Catholic faith means. Although our elementary education journey is ending, our academic journey does not have to end as well. I urge all of you to push harder, never give up, and continue to make this world a better place by using your God-given talents. Congratulations, Class of 2021. I wish everyone good luck, and may God bless us all.
As we draw to the end of our ceremony this evening, I would like to say a big congratulations to our class of 2021 and thank you to our grade eights and our families for 10 years of Catholic education. As well, a special thank you to Anna, Grace, Glenda, and all of our Catholic School Council for making this presentation and this yearbook possible. And an extra special thank you to Tafara, Kayla, Faye, and Rocco for their artistic contributions to our yearbook covers. Please join me in our closing prayer, our prayer to St. Patrick en Francais. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint Esprit, Amen. Saint Patrick, nous prions pour notre communauté, afin qu'elle continue d'être un endroit sûr et accueillant pour nos élèves, le personnel et les familles. Nous prions pour ceux qui sont tristes et seuls, et ceux qui sont malades. Guide-nous à faire des bons choix et donne-nous la force et la sagesse. Aide-nous à faire de notre mieux avec les dons que vous nous avez donnés. Aide-nous à ouvrir nos cours et nos esprits quand nous travaillons ensemble. Saint Patrick, priez pour nous. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. This brings us to the end of our virtual ceremony, and we wish our grade eight graduates all of the very best as they enter into high school and begin the next chapter of their lives. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Be safe, stay well, all the best. <laughs>